This is a VHDL group project for an embedded processor system design. This project has been designed by Mohammed Nabil, Sam Izionika, and Ali. Uh, the VHDL model design of a password access system has been implemented on a Nexus 4 DDR FPGA board using Xilinx Vivado IP integrator and programming a MicroBlaze microprocessor, a soft core microprocessor. A C program of the password access system was created using Xilinx Vivado SDK software development kit. The final output was demonstrated on the console of the SDK FB, F by, of the FPGA board, LEDs, and seven segment display. Thus, the FPGA board is then seen to be acting as the password access system with switches and push buttons as inputs, and LEDs and seven segment display as the outputs. 16 switches, 16 LEDs, five push buttons, and dual seven segment display were used on the Nexus DDR4 FPGA board. When the system is turned on, a message is prompted asking the user to put in a password. Yeah, basically, uh, we have right here the Nexus 4, the Nexus 4 DDR FPGA board. Uh, basically, it's on a reset factory mode at the moment because it's just slotted in into the system, the CPU. And we also have here the CSOS file, basically used uh, to program the Nexus DDR FPGA board. Uh, basically, for us to have this to, uh, for the Nexus DDR4 board to be programmed successfully, we have to build the C file program. Uh, to build that, it takes just a while for us not to have any errors. Um, basically, to program it, we also have to pro uh, go on, on the program button and uh, program the DDR board. Now it takes just a while, so I'll just be patient a little, just a minute. SDK. Now it just takes a while. This is done on the SDK of the Xilinx uh, Vivado 2015.2 model. Now we can see practically on the board. Now the F the FPGA board has been programmed successfully. For us to view this, we have to go through the run on the original project file, which is a run configuration, and go straight uh, on the studio connection. Uh, we can see the communication port. Uh, basically, we choose the, the actual part of it, and then we run the program. Now, we can see on the console, basically, the password access system, which is the first uh, prompt message we say password access system please enter your four digit password we can also see on the seven segment display uh, we can see the the run message there which is an F basically it's the uh, an initial statement for a start while there is uh, all switches are off we can check first the LEDs seven segment and the five display buttons by checking pressing any of those five push buttons to check the LEDs as we can see all flashed and this is working fine all uh, the seven segment plus the lights there okay. when we starting to figure out the password access if we press any switch at this time it shows all LEDs on plus zeros and you can in the console it's wrong password or wrong switches turn it off if we pick any correct switch it shows that leds plus one here in seven segment and the green lights and the cryptid or star number if we choose the second one and it's correct it shows the correct one which is three and one three and one which is on and that's it if we pick any wrong number this goes to zero and give red light we have to turn it off so this is the third switch which is five once we successful to choose the fourth digit it's display all the all the numbers plus animation in the LEDs and in the cursor shows that access granted and switches off all the process. Thank you. Thank you.